Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And when I got home, I had an email from somebody that wanted to recreate this star with this weird pattern on it. And I am going to do it, and it's going to be fun. And I'm not even going to make one ahead of time. I'm just going to make it for the video. I normally maybe practice or make sure it works, but I'm so confident how to do this in this particular case. And this is a good, fun project. You might not ever draw this star, but you might get a few ideas. So we're going to grab a star, and we're going to grab a six-sided star. And I'm not trying to duplicate this perfectly. I'm going to let them do it. I'm just going to do this for the video. And if you notice, I'm going to hit P on the keyboard. I want to put it in the center of the page. And the reason I made it six-sided is now I'm going to make it five-sided, and it's in the middle of the page. I've made several videos on that. Now I'm going to, and it doesn't really matter what order you're going to do this in, but I'm going to make a circle, and that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to control D and duplicate that circle, and I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to hit P on the keyboard. Maybe I'll make the outside circle just a hair bigger and hit P on the keyboard. Now I'm going to take my star, and I'm going to go up to Effects, Contour, and I'm going to contour it. I'm just let's try a half of an inch. So I contoured the star half an inch. Let's make a little bit. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's go 0.6 of an inch. Maybe a little bit more. Let's 0.7 or 0.7. Hit apply. That looks good enough. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. Now. This is what's so neat about this. Take your Smart Fill tool and fill in these. Um, I'm going to put it on black and fill in that, 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 and that. Then take, take your star and just move it out of the way. Let's see what our nudge factor is on. on. Let's say five inches. Let's make it 15 inches. Let's take our star and move it out of the way. Now let's go up and arrange, break contour apart. And now let's grab our red star. We don't need the black one. That's our contour. Now I'm going to click on the line and I'm going to delete that line and I'm going to delete that line. Now I'm going to put this back to where it was. And I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool, and I'm going to fill it in. And there you go. According to the picture, the outside circle could have been a little bit bigger. But I'm not going to send them the file. I'm going to send them the video. And they can, you could actually, if you wanted exactly, you could actually put this on top and put it to the back of the page. And if you wanted that exact star, if it happens to be a logo, and you could... Uh, get those circles a little bit closer together or whatever you wanted. Anyway, I hope it helped them a little bit and thank you for watching.